Holland. This is called the La Soufre Mountain. As I, I'm sure that you French people would know La Soufre means the Hills of Fire. Alright, Mountain of Fire. Alright, because it was named by French people. Um, now this La Soufre Trail is actually um, one that was used for many, many years. And uh, the, the lands before, as you can see, is the um, Ramaka Farms. And it is an area that is a portion for basically farming, our farmlands. Now, we have entered into an area that we find the geothermal plant going on just below there. That is where we will get our new source of energy from for, to power our electrical needs. And now we are into our lower mountain forest, this area. Now, the last two trail um, will take us to the volcano. And we have three or four episodes where our volcano erupted. It's 17, 18. 1812, 1902, and 1979. Now these times, um, I think in 1902 is where we, we had lost most of our people from volcanic eruption, but in recorded times. Now, around that time we didn't have advanced warning system, and advanced warning system as we have now, so there were much more fatalities whenever we would have a volcanic eruption. These people who died, are suffered from any sort of uh, well, the volcanic eruption, but we found this side of the island, which were the Garifuna people and the Carib people. All right, they suffer from a lot of uh, gas inhalation. Okay, now over time we had advanced, and now we have um, systems where we are phone forewarned, and in in the case where we would have any seismic activity or volcanic um, activity, it would be um, transmitted to Trinidad where most of the seismic um, um, station would be um, held and they would send this information back to St. Vincent via NEMO which is our national emergency center and they would tell the citizens of St. Vincent as to what to do whether if it's a small or a lot, something that would um, merit any sort of evacuation methods all right now the types of forest that we would find here is the mountain, as I said, this is the lower mountain forest. And our forest would be very diverse. We would have as much as um, 1,200 flowering plants. Our animal species are very small, they are harmless, so you don't have to worry about you being eaten or stung by any sort of animal. All right, so you are totally safe here. We have three types of snakes. The snakes are not, harm are, are not harmful. They they have venom, but not the neuro, 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 neurotoxic venom or, you know, any sort of venom that will kill you. So you are totally safe from those snakes as well. The only thing that would bite you here would be mosquitoes and maybe sandfly. And we would not say mosquitoes would bite you too much here because we have a lot of wind. Mosquitoes are very small creatures and whenever you have a bounce of a breeze or wind, they would actually be pushed away. So you would not have that as well. Our trip would be about two hours up and one and a half hours down. In total, we would have seven hours to do this. We would be getting back, or should be getting back to our, the ship around 4, 4.30. 4.30 will be the, the um, maximum time. Other than that, you would get in problems with the because we are <laughs> We wouldn't want that. So I will be walking at a moderate pace, not too fast, not too slow. Any persons having problems, respiratory problem or any sort of ligament problem, anything of that sort, would indicate. I will try to slow down and if you need to turn back for whatever reason, and we are hoping that that doesn't happen, Anthony or myself will be assisting you. I will be at the top and Anthony will be at the bottom. So, Anthony and myself. We would be stopping about three times give you answer questions and give you an idea of what you are seeing around you. All right? Other than that, we will be going straight up. There are areas in there that will be a little bit more challenging than others. As you go up, as you ascend, it will get increasingly more challenging. The hardest area would be probably about 2,000 or so feet above sea level. Let's say 3,000 feet, then, about that. And from there, you would ascend straight to the top. The top is very rugged very loose rocks so on ascension you would have to be very careful not to walk too fast look at your footing because if you slip you might cut your hands 
Okay? So you won't want those things happening. So before any further ado, let us head and let us see what we have and explore. and the forest would change slightly, which means the species would actually be able to uh, tolerate either the lower, which is hotter climate, and the species here would be When the Andes Alps Rocky Himalayas were formed, were formed. This was the fourth mountain building. <laughs> Le brouillard total. On arrive pratiquement au sommet pour voir le cratère, qu'on ne verra pas parce que là il y a trop de nuages. Yeah. 